Hey YouTubers, TJ here again. Round two with the six liter trying to prime this thing. So, I don't even know where to start. A lot of trials and tribulations here. I, I made this fitting. Um, this goes into a, this is the feed. This pump I have is from a, one of those pre-turbo lubers that you get years ago out of a magazine or something. I, I don't know, it hooks your oil pan and actually actually worked. I had it at my 5.0 Mustang. worked pretty good. It is loud, though. It's set about 44 PSIs right now. Um, so it feeds into here. And this is a Dash 8. And then this is an adapter to um, 16 by 1.5 with an O-ring on it. And here is my problem. I showed in a previous video that I machined a, a block-off plate for the cooler and it had some sort of bypass in it. Well, I figured out what the bypass was. I'll get to that in a second. So what I had to do is, every time I was adding oil to the engine, it had no return. So in my previous video, I asked if anybody knew what the return was. I found it the hard way. I just took this off, turned, turned that pump on, it came shooting out this side. So this is the return back. So what I did is I modified this uh, plate with a hole on the inside and then I located the hole and drilled and tapped 3 8 NPT to number 10 return and this goes to the return of the tank with oil in it so I was running it and running it and running it and a lot of oil was coming out of this this 10, 8, 10 A and N line it was just blowing through there like crazy and I'm looking at the rockers and notice Nothing's coming out of the rockers. It was a good five minutes, and I figured it should be coming out by now. So that bypass in that in that original uh, oil coral line is some sort of restrictor. So what I did is inside this fitting, sorry for the camera movement, inside this fitting I machined up a, a restrictor on the lathe, and I think I drilled it out 100 thousandths. And oil still comes flying out of here a lot, a big volume of oil. However, I know I'm getting oil to my upper end now because I could see uh, the push rod holes and the rocker arms filling with oil. So I'm going to turn this pump on. It's kind of loud. So um, here we go. And then you could see the, the rockers uh, and the push rods get oil. Here we go. Try for a camera movement. And I, what I do is turn the crank over once in a while as I'm feeding it. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the oil starting to fill up. I try to hold the camera steady. Fill up in a rocker. Same fill up. So I know we're getting oil to the upper end now. And every once in a while I'll turn it over. This pump's really loud. But it works great. External pump is nice. I use it a lot for all different other projects I use. You see it's filling up here. See the puddling. Puddling. I'll probably do this for a few minutes, turn it over, let it sit, and do it a little later. I got a lot of cleaning up to do. On my bridge port, on my lathe, I got a mess. And then I'm gonna work on the brake lines on this Sescalade, but I'm really happy that I got this thing to work. I got oil in the upper end. I know the camshaft galley getting oil now too, lifters getting oil. Let me turn this thing off. You can see it returning back down. It's slowing down. Okay, that's noisy enough for now. A lot of oil's coming up the upper end now, which is really good. I'm really happy with this. Uh, on my Instagram page, again, uh, TJS Performance, I loaded a lot of pictures up there of what I was machining and making. Uh, a lot of frustrations today, but uh, this worked out really good. 
If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe or comment. Thank you.